ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Doja Cat drama. She's definitely been going through it these past few days. So if you guys do not know, recently on Friday, um, she got into it with a bunch of her fans in Paraguay. And what happened is that basically there was a huge storm out there in Paraguay. And even though there was a storm, hurricane conditions, Folks still stood outside the hotel um, that Doja Cat was staying at, and they stood out there for her. They were waiting for her to come out, acknowledge them, show them some type of love, and she didn't do that. She basically sat in her hotel room or partied in the hotel, and so the fans were, like, really upset, and they were calling her out. Like, you know, why are you not out here? At least come and say hi to your fans. Um, earlier in the day, I believe Machine Gun Kelly, when the storm started getting really bad, he ended up putting out a loudspeaker outside the hotel that he was staying at, and he put on a performance for the fans who were waiting out there. So I think they kind of expected the same thing from Doja Cat, and they were pissed. Like, people was out there literally in the rain, just waiting. You know, the, the, the fandoms are crazy. They will sit out there in the middle of a torrential hurricane, a torrential storm, and wait for their faves. And so because they were not acknowledged by her, um, they're very upset. So now, so that was all Thursday when all that drama happened. So now we move on to Friday. And, you know, it's sunny skies and she's looking like, well, where are my fans? Where are they at? And they're like, bitch, we're not coming back. We was out here during the hurricane. And you didn't even come outside. So we're not going to come back Friday. So she took to Twitter and she said this. There was a storm in Paraguay and the show got canceled. When I left the next morning, there wasn't one person outside the hotel waiting for me. Let that sink in. Not even one. And then somebody replied back to her and they said, we spent a whole day in front of the hotel in the rain. You never came out or said a word. You think we would go again the next day? LOL. So then she says, I regret spending all that time I did getting ready for that day for the show. I've been busting my ass every day to put on a good show for you. God bless. So then when she said that, people started showing their racist ass. They were comparing her to Hitler. They were going in on her. It was a mess, honey. They were like really upset at like her sense of entitlement of her being mad that people didn't come back the next day to visit her at the hotel as she was leaving when they were there on Thursday. So it seems like it was like one big miscommunication, but um, I'm not sure how no one alerted Doja to let her know that there were all these people, you know, standing in front of the hotel waiting for her. But maybe because of the storm, things got lost in translation or folks thought it was more important for everybody to just stay, you know, inside. So... Um, yeah, them comparing her to Hitler to me was like really interesting because it's like Doja Cat's mama is Jewish. Y'all do know that, right? I'm just saying. So I thought that was a bit of a stretch. So then somebody had hit her up and they told her that she was basically public enemy number one in Paraguay. And so Doja Cat replied back and she says, I'm not sorry. And then at that point, they just kept lighting her up. Then she just finally decided she was just going to quit social media, quit the music industry altogether. So this is what she said. So Doja Cat replies back to all these people. She also changed her name to I Quit. And it says, it's gone. I don't give a fuck anymore. I fucking quit. I can't wait to fucking disappear. I don't need you to believe in me anymore. Everything is dead to me. Music is dead. I'm a fucking fool for ever thinking I was made for this. This is a fucking nightmare. Unfollow me. Then she also goes on to say, this shit ain't for me no more. I'm out. Y'all take care. So like I said, this caused a lot of controversy Friday. People were basically begging her to come back and saying, don't quit. I had a feeling she wouldn't be gone too damn long just for the fact that, you know, she she's in that damn contract. She's like in two contracts, one with Dr. Luke and one with RCA. So I'm like, where she think she going? Ma'am, you can, you can talk all that fly shit on Twitter, but you'll be back. I'm just saying, she's, she's under contract. You just can't quit. <laughs> they need their money. 
You got to be out there like a show pony. I'm just keeping it real. So, but I felt like, you know, at the end of the day, mental health is definitely important. So she wants a break from Twitter and the attacks. I definitely feel her. Nobody should be attacked and compared to fucking Hitler. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel her taking a break. But as far as music, I didn't believe that she was going to really, really quit music. I know a lot of folks were on social media crying as if, you know, she's not under contract to make a few more albums. But go off, sis. So now, if that's not crazy enough, she started going viral yesterday again. Doja Cat did. But not because of anything she did, but because of what Remy Ma said. So if you guys do not know, Remy Ma went on the Drink Champs. And she basically said, you know, Doja Cat is dope. She's a, you know... She makes dope records, but she's not a rapper. Remy Ma does not consider her a rapper. Y'all go ahead and watch this video. Uh, like Doja I, Cat, I, love, uh, yeah. I don't think she's a rapper. Let's be clear with that. I don't. Uh, they put her in the rapper category. I don't think she's a rapper, but she makes dope records, and I think okay. she's dope. That, that's what's so, up. I'll go with Doja. All right, so you guys just heard what Remy Ma had to say. So a lot of people were really upset about this. A lot of kittens, that's what Doja Cat's fans are called, were dragging Remy, saying she's losing her mind. How dare you not say that Doja Cat is a rapper? Doja Cat definitely raps. So this has been a debate, though, even before Remy. Like, people debate on this, Doja is Doja Cat a rapper? Literally every other month on Twitter. So it's just that time to just go over that whole debate again. So they've been going back and forth. They're posting all of Doja Cat's music, her raps, you know. And I guess I can see where Remy's coming from because Remy is, you know, a rapper. She's hardcore, things like that. But Doja's not that. And I think that's what makes Doja Cat really popular is that she's not your average rapper. She's not your average female rapper. Yeah, she talks some of her sexuality shit, you know, getting ate out, right in the dick. You know, she does that typical stuff. But she's not out here talking about beating bitches up and shooting people. And, you know what I mean? She's not talking that raw, raw gangster shit. So maybe that's why some people don't feel like she's a rapper because usually when she raps, she raps over pop beats. She's not rapping over hardcore hip-hop beats. She's not rapping to, like, drill music beats. You know what I mean? She's rapping over pop she's collaborating with a lot of singers and things like that but I do think she's a rapper you know Doja Cat definitely raps rapping is a form of vocal delivery and I think that's where people get it misconstrued rapping is rhyming words and sentences and double entendres and you know those are all considered rap it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the genre. Just because it's not necessarily with hip-hop beats doesn't mean that her delivery is not rap. I do definitely feel like she is a rapper in a sense. But I think to compare it to like a Remy Ma or a Little Kim, if you're trying to compare in that sense, you'd probably look at Doja as more pop. But I think for me... She has a lot of similarities to Nicki, like how Nicki first came out. Nicki's definitely a rapper, but she also has that pop element to her. You know, we've also heard Nicki singing on songs and things like that. And I think Doja Cat kind of took that formula and she took it to a level 10. You know, so she's basically created her own lane where she's mainly just rapping over pop beats and, you know, pop music. And it's worked for her. She's extremely successful. You know, regardless if you like her, don't like her, listen to her music. Shit, somebody is because all her shows be sold out. Literally everything she drops or touches turns to gold. You know, she has like a really strong fan base. They really love her music. I think she's very versatile. She's very talented. You know, Remy Ma is definitely entitled to her opinion. Um, if she feels like she's not a rapper, she has a right to feel that way. Because guess what? Remy Ma is actually a rapper. So those are her feelings. I'm not a rapper. So for me, I see both parts. I feel like, yeah, Doja Cat does rap. But would I look at her like a rapper, like a Remy Ma or a Little Kim? Not necessarily. But I'm not going to take away from her rapping because her delivery comes off in rapping. It's just not in a hip hop quote unquote way so yeah so the debate rages on people are going back and forth on twitter you know but i think that doja is doing her thing and at least remy ma did acknowledge that and did give her credit that she makes dope music now has she said her music was trash and i don't know why she's so famous and i'd be like okay now you're just hating but she didn't say that she gave her credit so i'm not mad at remy ma for having her opinion so now as of an hour ago <coughs> Child, maybe because it's this good Sunday, honey, but the dead have arisen. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Okay. Remember Doja Cat swerping down? She was quitting music Friday and she's done with this shit. And, you know, I, I, I quit. 
But I told y'all, she'll be back. You know what I'm saying? She'll be back. So as of an hour ago, while everything is trending with Remy Ma, Doja Cat finally decided to come back and, you know, show appreciation to her fans. And this is what she had to say. So she goes on to say this. I can travel. I can eat good food. I can see new people. I can smile. I can make memories that I dreamed of having. I can laugh. I can support my family, my friends. I can learn about the world. I can give back to everyone because of you. I do owe people shit. I owe a lot. Then she goes on to say, I owe myself a lot too. I owe myself the chance to open up and be good to people. I owe myself the death of my fears that don't allow me to expand my heart. I didn't come to another country to do something I can do everywhere else. That would be pointless in a way. I came here because I knew there was something new. New people, new things, new stories to learn. I came and I gave not enough. I need to give more because I noticed I've been taking a lot. Taking from almost everybody who's reading this. And then she replied back to her message where she initially wrote, don't ask me for shit. And she said, this is an example of me not reciprocating all the shit that's been given to me. This was two hours ago. Don't forget it. Don't take it to heart because it does not benefit you or anybody else. Please don't hesitate to ask me for shit because I love you. And then she also retweeted her post from the other day when she says, I'm not sorry. And she says, I am. And then somebody else says, we're sorry for the things they said and how they treated you. And then she replies back and she says, I wasn't any better. Then somebody else says, Hold on now. You have done your best to put on amazing shows for so long. Do not sell yourself short, Doja. We love you. Then she says, I'm not discrediting myself. I work my ass off. I know that. It's tiring, but I'm not suffering because of people like you. My suffering comes from myself, not any not everybody else it's my problem but you guys always help me solve it when you support me the way that you've been so that is what doja had to say about the situation so basically she's apologized to her fans and you know she's back <laughs> after that 48 hour of i quit music she's officially back you know which is good to see i'm glad she's in a better headspace and it seems like her fans that were really upset with her um you know some of them are forgiving her others are like we don't care so <laughs> you know to each its own so this drama with doja cat has been like a 72 hour saga but let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know y'all's thoughts on this situation did y'all believe that she was really quitting music how did you guys feel about everything that went down with her fans in paraguay how do you feel about her coming back today and apologizing? And then most importantly, how do you feel about what Remy Ma had to say about Doja Cat on Drink Champs? Do you consider Doja Cat a rapper? Or do you feel like she's not a rapper because she's not rapping on hip hop beats and, you know, she's kind of quirky and goofy so people don't look at her as a rapper? Or do you feel like maybe Remy and people who say that are just hating on her? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And last but not least, don't forget to share the video. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.